Right then, welcome to another Osmo Guide video. I haven't done one of these in a while because not much has changed with the Osmo, apart from firmware. So today, DJI sent me some goodies that I've been waiting for for quite a while. So let's go through them. First, is that it's the external power source for the Osmo. People have been asking for it, as well as longer lasting batteries. DJI have come out with this one. So I'll show you how to fit it and use it. To begin with, take the camera off the Osmo, just in case it breaks. Worth noting, the Osmo base, well worth getting. Makes working with the Osmo much easier. But for this, we need to take this back panel away where your battery hides, so take the battery out and this needs to be taken out and what you have, if you can see you can't see because my camera won't focus right then, what you have a little tiny metal clip right there and what you need is a flathead screwdriver and you just wedge it out. The instructions show you how to how to do it. So push the little clip and you can lift the case out. And they send you another one with the external power adapter and fitting it in. It's a case of Balancing it on the side, which my camera would focus. So you put it in and you do the same thing of latching the little clip and pushing it in. So there you go. So it's a very similar lid, it just has a little hole in the side for the cable. Then you fit it in, the lid closes, you can see the cable's got a little notch to come out of. And they thought about this in advance because they put a notch in the side of the base as well. So, so there you go. That's the, the cable. You also, when you buy this cable, you also need to buy an adapter cable that either works for the Phantom 4 batteries or the Inspire or Phantom 3 batteries. So there's two different cables. If you've got both, then you can buy both cables. If you've already got an Inspire or Phantom 3, just get the appropriate cable. Or if you've got a Phantom 4, you've got a cable for that. So, I'll show you how it works. In there. I love that base. Here's the cable for the Phantom 3 and Inspire batteries. It has a little connector for the battery on one end. And on the other end, it's got a connector for the, for the cable. So you plug in your cable, you link them together and on this end you attach it to your battery be it the Inspire or the Phantom 3 and then what you need to do is turn the battery on let me just put the camera back on and then there's the Osmo running off of the Inspire battery. Let's see what the DJI Go app says. There you go. It's not telling me how much recording time I've got because I've got no SD card in there. 
us fix that problem very quickly. There you go. Is it working? Doesn't really show you much difference about battery info. There you go. When it's connected, it doesn't actually show you any battery info when it's running off the off the external battery. But you will get a lot more time from one of these batteries than you do from from the Osmo normal battery. Turn that off. Turn the battery off, and then you can you can disconnect it. And here's the Phantom 4 connector as well. I'll show you the same with that one. Plug it in. Turn the battery on, and there's the Osmo running off the Phantom 4 battery. So the next thing I'll show you is the Z-axis. This is a, a mechanical vertical axis stabilizer. So it's a fourth axis for the gimbal. And it gets rid of the up and down motion on the Osmo when you're walking. It saves you doing the crazy ninja walk. And it fits on quite easily. You've got the end that goes on the handle. And you've got the end where the camera goes on. And fitting it is the same as fitting the camera to the handle. You fit it in and lock. Lock it in place just like you would with a camera. And then the camera goes on the other end. Just like it would normally. Let's lock the the bottom. I do find it's a little bit fiddly to fit. It feels like it's a little bit rough to go in. But lock it in place and there you have it. The handle, really the handle in the base doesn't really work. And you've got the, the Z axis so I'll make sure I hold on to it. I've still got the external power source, so I shall turn on my my Inspire battery. And <coughs> turn on the Osmo. Let's unlock it. Do that again. There you go. It does have a, a bracket on the side, so this is where you would attach your mobile phone holder. And it pretty much bends down and screws on to the side of the handle. And there you go. It does have two adjustments you can make. One is a little knob on the top, and you've got a plus and minus. If you can see that, if my stupid camera focuses. If you can see it, there's the little knob there. What this does is tightens or loosens the, the spring. So it makes it softer or harder, depending what you want. And you also have a little button on the side, right there. You press and you can actually change the, the angle of the z-axis. There you go. That is the z-axis. It takes a bit of setting up I think but once you start getting used to it you can get rid of the up and down motion that you got from the from the camera before. Turn that off. Fit this back to the base. 
and I shall remove the camera. The camera there. The Osmo from a simple little handheld camera has become quite a complicated fat beast to work with since all the extra bits that they've added. The last thing DJI sent me is the X5 adapter. I've been waiting for this for quite some time. Ordered it when it first first came out and this allows you to fit the X5 camera on the Osmo. And again it's very easy to, to fit. You attach it onto the camera, onto the base, lock it in place, and you have this folding arm again. Fold the arm down. Close it in place. And you get your X5 camera. And this one fits onto the base. I'll turn it that way. It fits onto the base. And you lock it in place using a locking ring that's similar to the Inspire ring. On the front you have the canvas connector for the focus and that is it it's, uh, it's the long awaited X5 adapter it's a lovely camera if you've got an Inspire then you'd be familiar with it but you can buy it separately just for the Osmo this is the Osmo Pro that is referenced on DJI's website. There is no new Osmo. It's just the Osmo with an X5 adapter. Let's connect to the Osmo. Now go up. And there you see it's if I go back home, it says it's the the Osmo Pro when it's connected. There's also the Osmo RAW which is when you're using this camera and the X5 RAW version. Oh, need to take the, the lens cap off. There you go. Don't know how much of that I can show you because you got Skyfall playing in the background on the TV there. Am I getting into trouble for copyrighting? Oh no. Well, there you go. That is the the X5 adapter. Hope you enjoyed the video, and join me back for the next one when DJI release something else that's cool for the Osmo. Thanks for watching.